They said it couldn't be done. They said it was too dangerous. But against all odds, a team of daring scientists ventured into a forbidden tomb in Egypt and made a discovery that rewrote history, prepared to be stunned by what they found. On number 7, we have the unknown Egyptian queen. The tomb of a lady who was interred amidst the massive pyramids of the old kingdom of Egypt was discovered in 2015 by archaeologists. She was referred to as the king's mother and wife in inscriptions found in her grave. When this woman was alive 4,500 years ago, she would have been one of the most significant individuals on the globe. She would have become the most influential lady in the country. Furthermore, no one is aware of who she is. She was given the name Kentakuas III by historians, who believed she was the daughter of Queen Kentakuas II. They speculate that she was Pharaoh Neferfer's wife and the mother of Pharaoh Mekahar, although they are unsure. They are only speculating. If Kentakuas III was her name, nothing we've ever uncovered has ever made any mention of her. Whatever she was, she was once a lady of immense power, but she is now little more than a mystery. On number 6, we have the Sphinx of Israel. A 4,000-year-old Egyptian sphinx was discovered in 2013 in Tel Hazer, Israel, which surprised experts who had never anticipated to find one so far from Egypt. They discovered the statue's paws, which were perched on a foundation. It is thought that the remainder was purposefully destroyed thousands of years ago. However, it would have stood one meters tall and weighed half a ton until someone knocked it down. Nobody is aware of the purpose of an Egyptian monument in Israel. An inscription on the base with the name Cain Mycerinus, a pharaoh who ruled over Egypt approximately 2500 BC, is the sole piece of information still present. It's quite doubtful that the Egyptians took Tel Hazor. Tel Hazor in canon served as a commerce center between Egypt and Babylon under the rule of Mycerinus. It was essential to the financial health of two of the region's most powerful nations. It was most likely a gift, in our opinion. However, if it was a gift, it's unclear why King Mycerinus gave it or why anybody became enraged enough to break it. The only thing we can be certain of is that someone constructed a Sphinx 1,000 kilometers distant from the Great Sphinx of Giza. On number 5, we have King Tut's mysterious death. King Tutankhamun passed away at the age of 19, and the exact circumstances of his death are unknown not because he was in his prime, but rather because his death is a total mystery. Tut had so many problems that it's difficult to determine which one caused his death, which is why his passing is so mysterious. King Tut's health was atrocious. His parents must have been siblings, according to historians, since he was born with so many hereditary abnormalities and also had malaria. He had a clubfoot and genetic flaws, which some people think may have made his demise inevitable. Additionally, he had a shattered skull, which archaeologists long assumed indicated that he had been stabbed in the head. Although it is now thought that his skull was just broken during the embalming process, the idea that he was killed has not been completely discounted. He'd also had a knee injury just before passing away, which has given rise to the belief that he perished in a chariot accident. But even if he was, boarding the chariot in the first place was an odd choice. Tut was unable to even stand alone due to his extreme deformity. It might have been anything or a variety of things may have all been affecting him at once. The only thing we can be certain of is that King Tut didn't get a lot of encouraging news during his last month on Earth. On number four, we have the Great Pyramid's secret chamber. For Pharaoh Khufu, the biggest pyramid of them all was constructed 4,500 years ago. It is a huge, approximately 150-meter tall edifice made of more than 2.3 million stone pieces. Yet, until recently, it seemed as if there were just three rooms within. You're not alone if you think that's a lot of empty space. A crew surveyed the pyramid in November 2017 to check for any items they may have missed. Indeed, scientists discovered indications that there could be a sizable concealed chamber as big as the largest room in the whole pyramid above the Great Gallery of the Pyramid. The odd thing is that the Egyptians purposefully made the secret room impossible to reach. There are no connecting passageways or corridors. They could only have filled the room with something while they were constructing the pyramid and then sealed it later. The subterranean chambers inside has yet to be revealed. However, Pharaoh Khufu evidently did not want whatever was within to ever be made public. On number three, we have the mummy wrapped in a foreign book. An ancient Egyptian mummy 
was purchased by a guy from an Alexandrian merchant in 1848. He displayed it as a decoration for years, without realizing what a peculiar artifact he had. But a few decades later, when the doctors removed her bandages, they discovered something really strange. The book's linen pages had been used to wrap the mummy, although it wasn't written in Egyptian. It took years of research to determine what language it was, but now we are aware that it is written in Etruscan, the ancient tongue of a people who formerly inhabited what is now Italy. We don't have much knowledge about this language. The longest Etruscan writing we've ever unearthed is encircled by this mummy. But there are still a lot of unsolved questions. One is that we are still unsure of what the text really means. We can only make educated guesses as to what it signifies or why someone would wrap it around a dead corpse, since we only comprehend a few phrases, which seem to be dates and the names of gods. Most importantly, we don't know why an Etruscan book was found in Egypt wrapped around a corpse. She seemed Etruscan. If so, then why was she in Egypt? What else did she include in her farewell message to everyone? On number two, we have the Dendera light. Unusual imagery is shown on a large sculpture on the temple wall at Dendera, Egypt. According to the common interpretation, it depicts a snake emerging from a lotus blossom while being supported by a pillar with human arms. Not only because the pillar has arms, but the whole image is strange. It just so happens to resemble a model of a crook's tube, an early light bulb developed in the 19th century in every way. In fact, it resembles a light bulb so well that some people believe it to be a blueprint for building one. That type of notion is often put out by tall-haired lunatics on the History Channel, but they make some disturbingly persuasive points. The only chamber in the whole temple without fire-burning lights was the one that displays the Dendera light. The only area of the structure where Egyptians burnt lamps was this one, according to residue discovered by archaeologists. How then could they see anything if they didn't have an early model of a light bulb stowed in here? Why did they bother hanging such a complex painting on the wall if the space was completely dark? On number one, we have the destroyed pyramid. The highest peak of any pyramid in Egypt should be found on the Pyramid of Jedfer. Of that, Jedifer made certain. Although he lacked the means to construct the largest pyramid, he found a clever technique to ensure that the tip of his tomb stood slightly higher than everyone else's. On a hill, he constructed it. But for some reason, only Jedifer's pyramid has been completely demolished while all the other Egyptian pyramids are still intact after thousands of years. The base is all that is left. There are ideas as to what transpired, but nobody is exactly certain. Some believe that Jedifer just passed away before they could complete much of the construction, leaving his pyramid in ruins. Others believe that 2,000 years ago, Romans demolished a significant historical structure in order to quarry the area for the stones. Others believe that Jedifer was simply abhorred by the Egyptian populace, who were ready to destroy a whole pyramid out of anger. And that's a wrap. Thank you for being a part of this incredible journey into the mysteries of ancient Egypt. We hope you've enjoyed this eye-opening experience, and we can't wait to bring you more groundbreaking discoveries in the future. Remember to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.